All right, hello everybody, Zaxter99 with another first play on launch day video game review. A game that just launched today. And before we get on to the game, guys, I want to go ahead and show you guys my friends list. And every time I look at all my friends on a line on Steam, all the ones that are playing a particular Steam game, it never ceases to amaze my mind how everybody always just jumps on super popular either AAA games or indie games like Starbound that are massively popular. Like nobody ever wants to take a chance on small indie developer games. I don't for the life of me understand that. I mean everybody's Dead by Daylight or Grand Theft Auto 5 or Counter-Strike or War Thunder, you know Rocket League, a super popular game. And a lot of these games are really good. You know Stardew Valley, I have no problems with these bigger, more popular games. But sometimes, guys, just like the game I reviewed yesterday, a great brick breaker game, you know, for the money, I reviewed it at 95%. It's going to make one of my, you know, any games of 2018. And at the end of the year, I'll go back and look at all my, you know, my must buy selections uh, over the year and pick one winner uh, for my indie game of the year on Steam. But in this video, guys, we're going to take a look at. HPU High Score Processing Unit, a game made by Code Rare, Code Rare. and uh, this is a developer who has now two Steam games under his record. Uh, Iubes 2, never heard of it or played it, but a $19 game, half price right now, might have to check that out. But this game here is only coming in at $2, guys. It is 10% uh, off its first week, and I like how the, you know, the video starts you've been training for this moment all your life the time has come to show you your breakout skills now it says it's a breakout game now we already know from yesterday's video on breakfast that i tend to like these kind of games this one's a little bit different though when i first look at this it reminds me of a shooter uh kind of like galaxian back on the old school you know computer systems commodore and all that called gyrus where you're shooting aliens in the middle and you move around the uh yeah, maybe some of you remember Gyrus, maybe some of you don't, I don't know. But I really like this intro video. It's pretty, you can tell this guy put some work into this and it's not just like, you know, uh, another asset flip or whatever. You can already see that, so already, to me, it's worth, you know, taking a $2 plunge and seeing if this game is worth the price tag. And we're going to find out right after this. All right, welcome back everybody to the game. I like how it doesn't have a Unity, uh, you know, default launcher. And I've already kind of checked the game out to make sure it works and everything like that before I started recording it. I played a quick game, scored 5,000 points. It shows that my rank is 46. It shows that I've only played one time. And it does allow me to set my name here. One thing I've already left the developer feedback on on his forums is he uses a font here or if I put the 99 in my name, uh, the 99 kind of shows up like way lower than the letters. So I suggested that he uses a font, you know, where letters and numbers are going to be aligned. But you can go in here and you can see the like world high scores right from here, which is pretty cool. And you can see that uh, I'm way down the list on high scores. And to get to the top, I'm going to have to get 73,000. Hey, at least it's not like 800,000 like my laser beam game, right? Anyway, we come back in here. We go um, play. And you compete for the same global high score table, whatever the game mode that you select. Try and use the one that best fits your skills. All right. So simple. The more the better. Or thrice. Play hard, score hard. So you better start here. We're gonna go ahead and start here at the easiest level, guys, and see what we can get. I'm guessing on the easiest level, you don't score as many points because the game's easier, and you'll score like score multipliers or you know multiple, uh, a lot more points if you would on the higher difficulties. That way, it would kind of balance out, and you know you're competing for the same high score no matter what level you choose. So we have um, 
three minutes on a timer. We are, we're on level one. And guys, this game's pretty simple. It's not as complex as it might look like when you start. So you're gonna go ahead and hit the mouse button to start. You're gonna see this little ball of light, you know, following you around. And you're like, what the heck? And I kept trying to hit buttons to send the ball going off towards the bricks. But all you do guys is move quickly and make the uh, ball of light follow you through the bricks. And you can kind of control the, uh, the direction with your ship because the ball of light totally wants to get to you here and you are trying to use it to smash up the bricks you're trying to use its desire to get to you and smash the bricks if you would so pretty i like the concept here you know it's not a technically a brick breaker where you're hitting a ball with a paddle uh it's a lot different in that sense but i do like where the developer has went with this and then you're probably going to get multipliers you know based on how much time is left when you end the level and etc etc so we're going to go ahead and move on to level two now and now we got like an enemy face here so we're going to go ahead and try to smash that baby up i like how you can kind of uh maneuver the ball the one thing that's missing from this game is things like power-ups and you know all the things you get in like a brick baker game like uh brick fest that i reviewed yesterday that I gave a 95% score to. Really, really like that game if you guys haven't checked that out. But this one definitely has a unique style and I like the fact that they've, uh, you know, completely, you know, redone the Brick Breaker. Uh, whoa, that, that was quick. That was really quick, okay. Best high score on a level. Yeah, I mean, he's completely broken the uh, what you would expect from a brick breaker game with this game with his own unique style and twist and I, I i really like that i mean it's definitely different but it's the same concept if you would try to use your your ball if you would to break up all the bricks on the screen or the level and i mean there's been a lot of brick breaker games that have you know uh form faces and stuff like that out of the bricks so nothing really new there but uh i gotta say i like this game guys uh, pretty cool. I don't know how many levels there are. I did reach out to him to ask him. I know there's at least 24 because he has screenshots of at least 24 levels. And I think it's going to take you a while to get there because if you ever run out of time, even if there's just one block left, you're in the game and you're like, you know, your game's over. I really like this game, guys. Uh, it gets harder and harder as you would expect as you continue to progress through these levels. And uh, I mean, for $2, you really can't ask for a lot more. I can tell that this is not an asset flip. I would be shocked if it was. Uh, I mean, sometimes I have been shocked by games that I thought were an asset flips and they were. But uh, I don't think that, I think this is an honest developer trying to make an honest game to be, you know, to be real with you guys. So let's go ahead and review this game, guys. Value at uh, $2, regular price. Uh, you would expect it, you know, to get a good score on the value department in my game. In my scoring, you would expect that you know, for the coming months, you would get at least two hours of gameplay out of this game. And I think that's easily gonna happen for anybody that likes, you know, different games, smaller games. You saw all the people in my friends list playing all the big, you know, really big popular games. It seems like nobody wants to give smaller games like this a chance and you can have a hell of a lot of fun. I challenge all you viewers, anybody who views this video, whether it's, you know, the same day that I upload it or whether it's two years from now, I challenge you to go out and play some of the smaller games out there. Some of those, you know, $1.99 games like this one, some of the $3.99 games and stuff like that. Uh, some of the games that aren't massively popular on Steam with 40,000 people playing them. You know, not only might you find a little gem that you really, really enjoy, but you're daring to be different yourself. Just like the developer in this game has a dare to be different and make a different kind of brick breaker game. You are being different yourself, and you might really find that uh, you like some of these, you know, smaller little games, and that they can be a hell of a lot of fun, despite the graphics or uh, simplicity of the game. There are some really simple games out there, guys, that are a ton of fun. But I think that if you are a person that's willing to give a simple little game like this, you know, uh, an old school concept or whatever, a chance, I think you're easily going to find more than two hours of gameplay in this game. Uh, in the coming months. So the value guys on this one is strong. I'm gonna give this game a, we're gonna give it a 38 out of 40. It's almost there, just not quite. 
Uh, I'm not super confident that, you know, I'm gonna get tons of playing time out of this. You know, I don't know that I'll be going back to this game for certain enough times to get, you know, four or five, six hours uh, out of the game in the coming months. So that's why it's a little bit short of a 40 out of 40 value there. I gotta say, I do like it though. And for the price, it's uh, definitely a deal. Uh, fun is my next criteria. This is a, probably the most subjective score that you know, you're gonna find in my scoring. It really depends on how much you like a particular kind of game or how much fun you have in this game. Where I have a 25 out of 30, you, know, you might play it and find that it's a 30 out of 30, or you might play it and find out it's a 10 out of 30. Uh, you just don't have any fun with it at all. But I actually think 25 out of 30 is pretty fitting for this game. Uh, see, sounds about right. It's, it's pretty fun, uh, but I don't think it's as much fun as like Brickfest that I played the uh, yesterday and gave a 95 to. Even though it's more unique, uh, even though it has probably a better overall design, the fact that it lacks things like power-ups and stuff like that kind of uh, makes it not quite as much fun to me. And I think if this guy was to do some kind of power-ups, or maybe if you get the light to, you know, hit a power-up, it lightning bolts the bricks and. You know, different things like that could be a lot of fun. Uh, maybe multiple balls like you see in a lot of breakout games. Different things like that could really add to the fun factor here, but still a strong score with a 25 out of 30. My next criteria, guys, is controls and bugs. What kind of controls, how are the controls, and how many bugs are you seeing in my initial, you know, uh, first impression score? I'm not seeing any kind of bugs at all, except for, like I say, that minor text uh, issue where the nines weren't aligned with the uh, the letters in my name. Uh, I'm not gonna dis, you know, I'm not gonna take any points away from the developer for that. But uh, the controls are as easy as you could imagine, guys. I mean, uh, simply moving your mouse around and around and around like that, it couldn't be easier. So, pretty brilliant control mechanism here. 20 out of 20 for this guy on controls and bugs from what I'm seeing so far in the game. And my next criteria is graphics and sound. I like the kind of uh, virtual splattering, if you would, on the screen. The splattering on the screen kind of looks like, you know, uh, uh, like you are immersed in the virtual world of the game. I really like that effect, so I think the graphics get an extra point there uh, just for the effect on the game itself. Uh, pretty simple graphics. I mean, the outside is pretty cool, but you know, I like the fact they used a uh, arcade, you know, retro arcade machine here, right on the title uh, that says the name of his game. Very, very cool here. Guys, I'm gonna give this game, for the type of game it is, uh, and what it's trying to do, I think it does it very well. I'm gonna give this game an eight out of 10. All right, guys, so if we add all our scores up, we set a 38 for value, 38 out of 40. We set a 25 for fun, 25 out of 30 for fun. We set a 20 out of 20 for controls and bugs, and then we set an 8 out of 10 for graphics and sound. That gives this game a very, very an impressive high score itself, a 91% for a $1.99 game. Guys, at the price tag and the kind of game it is, this is almost a must buy and almost a pick for one of my indie games of the uh, year. I'm going to watch this game, and if this developer adds things like power-ups, or maybe I just haven't seen them yet because I haven't advanced far enough, then I'm going to reevaluate this game, and it might turn into an indie game of the year selection. Right now, without you know multiple balls or power-ups or anything cool like that, uh, I think a 91 is pretty fair. 91% still a damn good score that you guys can get yourself right now at the link below for less than $2. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. This has been Zach 39 Take care.